Hello everyone, in today's video, we will see how to develop a screen record application using Python Tkinter. Let's get started. Firstly, we need to install the library. Type pip install screen recorder sdk in the command prompt as shown here. We will wait till the installation is complete. Now let's start importing the libraries from Tkinter import star import os from screen recorder sdk import the library screen recorder we have just installed this screen recorder sdk Now let's assign the top level widget which represents the main window of the application here main equal to tk let's assign the title which we want to set for our main application to be shown in the window I am going to set it as screen recorder application. Now we will add main dot main loop. This will help us to run the app continuously. It is similar to a while one loop which has infinite run. Let's run the program. Now we will download the icons required for our button in the screen recorder application. Open the browser and go to flaticon.com. In the icons tab, search for recorder icon or record icon. Click on the icon and choose PNG and click on free download. You will be able to download this icon. Similarly, let's download stop icon. And a folder icon. Now I have placed all these icons in our project folder. Now we will create a label. Let's define a variable app label equal to call the label function inside the tkinter using label and inside the function we have main give any text 
here I use screen recorder application font Arial font size is 26 bold and we will add padding to the x and y axis pad x as 16 pad y as 16 Now let's add our label dot grid and column span equal to three. Now let's add the image photo. Let's take a variable and using this function photo image, let's call our record.png image here using os.path.join this returns the record.png image which is inside our current directory and let's resize this image let's give any variable I'm adding photo image equal to photo dot subsample this is used to resize our image let's add x and y now we will assign this image to our button by creating a record button variable calling the function button inside this we give main and let's call the image equal to photo image the one which we just resized and now similarly let's give record button dot grid as row one column zero adding y along y axis equal to 16 now do this for the other images other like other images like stop and folder buttons just change the button names let's repeat the same uh, here we give the column to be 2 0 and 1 oh sorry column 1 similarly we will do it for the folder button column 2 let's change the image to be folder.png now we will run the program we are not able to see the first two images because uh, we have the same variable name that has been passed so only the last image is assigned to the variable photo image the other two are not being set so we can fix this by um, adding a, a unique name to this photo image variable add a different name for 
to image underscore folder just run it now you will be able to see the three images as buttons here now we will add the functionalities to these buttons let's create start recording function for the record button we will call the screen recorder which we have imported and we will enable dev log this will initialize the screen recorder next we will get the parameters such as display screen and store it in params variable using screen recorder dot recorder params function now we will get the parameters and we will pass these parameters in into init underscore resources this will fetch our display screen parameters so to start recording a video we will use start underscore video recording function and we will give the name for the video which we have been recorded name that we want to store a video and let's give the frames per second to be 30 and bit range this is set to a higher value to get a better quality and if you have gpu set the flag to true otherwise to false now let's create a function for stop button function name stop recording and let's call screen recorder dot stop underscore video underscore recording function and let's call screen recorder dot free resources this is to release the resources which we have previously in initialized same way let's create a function for the folder button open underscore folder function and assign path equal to so as we are saving the video in the current location we are going to get the path using os dot get current working directory and save it to the path variable and give a give os dot start file and pass path inside this function so as we click on the folder button this will open the folder where we where we have saved our video now we will pass these functions to their respective buttons using command is command equal to start recording for the record button command equal to uh, stop recording for the stop button and command equal to open folder for the folder button now we will run this program so when i click the record button it will start recording our screen 
and click stop to stop recording so it will release the resources when i click the folder button it will show me where the video has been stored the location so i can As an improvement, we will try to add some extra features to our recorder app. Initially, we will disable the stop button because we have not yet started to record anything. So in order to avoid clicking the recorder button multiple times, we will display the record button once and once it's clicked, we will enable the stop button. Again once we click the stop button we will re-enable the recorder button again let's try to write the logic first we will disable the stop button stop button and state pass the state equal to disabled so for initially we have disabled the stop button now we will go into the function start recording and we will use the record button of the, the state of the record button is disabled and stop button as normal so inside this function we will disable and enable the stop button inside the stop recording function it is just the vice he was a record button is normal and stop button is disabled now we will run the program so initially when you click the record button it's disabled so once you start recording the record button is disabled and you cannot do multiple recording now we will click on the stop recording button once it's stopped now again the re uh, the record button is re-enabled and now we will able to see the video being recorded Hope this tutorial was helpful. For more application oriented videos, please comment. And if you have any doubts, you can also mention that in the comment box below. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.